This is our proof of concept video for the SUA 5000 running as a pure 48 volt inverter. There's the part number. That I is indicating it's an international voltage of 200 to 220, 240 nominal. Um, normally the UPS has a cell in here and three cells here in a parallel series pair of strings that go to the heat sinks and the main board here. We've cut those out and spliced to a simple 120 amp Anderson plug and we've replaced the original because this is a 120 amp plug normally it has 140 amp fuses in. We've taken it out and used a single 100 amp fuse which is going to limit us to 4800 volt amps and we have a test set, cell set here again with another 100 amp fuse just for our safety when we're wiring. So you can consider everything in one loop now. All the reds are spliced here and this is Kevlar insulated and then double insulated with a standard heat shrink and then we've got the standard APC wiring going to this fuse and then we've spliced again down here. But you can see there's a splice there running into the output. At the moment we're running on mains. Uh, I have a heater so load wise this is about two and a bit kilowatts. I'll turn it on and we'll see we now have a load. We're still running from mains at this point so what I'm going to do is pull our mains power apart. The fans are now spinning faster. Cells. Now we're imagining people will be using a much larger cell bank than this. Uh, this is just our proof of concept. Uh, the fan system is significant. We've got um, these are always on fans. We've got a smaller fan, and then the main fan out there is high flow. That keeps it cool. It's got a significant transform block. And the output blocks over here. We could obviously modify this to tie into the fancy. Uh, we have the input. See just at the bottom going to a chop block. That's the back of the UPS. You can use network cards, uh, 9617-1930 and 31 are compatible. It can be rack mounted or used on its sides. I'm going to cancel this test and reinstall mains power. Okay, at the moment you'll hear it click, switch over, back on mains. Okay, so even though there is now no load, you can hear that the fan is still running at an elevated speed. That's because either this is hot or it's charging at a certain rate. So when it's a high charge rate, full charging, it will run faster until the cells are charged. Uh, we will probably include the 140 amp fuses in case people want to change the wiring or plugs on their side. Um, you could obviously cut in and splice your own stuff, but we think this is quite a good connection because it's quick and easy. So it's 120 amp limit. UPS has realised there's no cell. Can I plug this back in? Twenty seconds. All will be good. Okay, that concludes the video.